ladies and gentlemen, how you doing today? My name is Billify, and today it is time to counter a glove. Which one? Well, of course, the hammer glove. Alrighty, so today we are testing the counters for this brand new hammer glove. We are joined by the amazing Buse Muso. Thank you so much for taking the time to come and help out and test out these counters. I very much appreciate you, my guy. W human being here. Alrighty, so first up on the counter list, we're gonna have our rocks. We're gonna have diamond, mega rock, and custom. I think these are gonna be fantastic counters. So if you were to hit them and they have their timer up top, they can easily, I mean very easily, get inside of this rock and not take the knockback and be okay. So bonk can't do anything to it. Massive, massive counter to it. So you could always use ghosts to pre-hit them. They can't see what they can't hit, but it's not going to be a long-term solution because if you get hit while you're in ghosts, you're going to have a little effect above your head. Thanos, can you save yourself from going off the edge? Absolutely. I think Thanos is going to be a fantastic counter to this. They get hit. Oh, very fast timer. You can absolutely save yourself. Oh, Thanos, 100% a counter. So we highly recommend that you use Thanos. All right, next up, magnet. Can you magnet to another user to save yourself from being hit by the hammer? Away from the hammer. Oh, nope. They can magnet back after they get hit. They can definitely magnet back. Okay, counter for sure. So magnet, definitely a counter for sure. You can use it to save yourself after you get hit. Just magnet yourself to another user. So as a golden user, can you, in time with the split second of seeing a hammer, pop your ability and save yourself? Ooh interesting. King wise, will golden save you if you're fast enough on timing your E? I almost hit it because of the other hammer. Okay, so yes. Golden, if you're in the ability, I think will definitely save you. Golden can work. Cheeky! Yes, absolutely, Muso. Can Cheeky take reduced knockback to the hammer? Let's see. What kind of knockback are you going to take as the Cheeky user? Reduced. Heavily reduced knockback. Oh yeah, Cheeky's a massive counter. Definitely use Cheeky if you're looking to avoid it. Reverse. Can you reverse the hit and give the knockback to the other person? Remember, it has to be split second time. The hammer user that hits you is not going to tell you when your timer's out. <laughs> so you have to have split second decision making on this reverse. Let's see. Oh, reverse is a counter. Reverse is a massive counter. You have to time it well, but absolutely. Oh, you can give the other person the hammer effect too. Oh. <laughs> I would say definitely use reverse as a counter. It is one of the funnier ones because you can give them the hammer. Ooh, Shikuchi, yes, absolutely. I can already see that this is gonna be a counter. As soon as you see the hammer, just Shikuchi over to another person and you're not gonna take any knockback. Yes, yes they can, absolutely. <laughs> Yes, Shikuchi is a massive counter. So, Duelist, if you get hit by the hammer, can you go into an arena? Let's see. So, if he plops it down next to somebody as soon as he sees the hammer. Oh, for sure. So, Duelist can work, but you have to use it after, not before. Because if you use it before, you still stand the chance of being hit by the hammer. After, it can save you, but you have to make sure you're near someone. If you're not near someone, you're going to get flung off. Okay, so, Adios. Can you save yourself with the Adios glove? I think you should be able to. As soon as you get hit with the hammer, I think you'll have enough time in the air to activate this. Bueno. Adios, master. Before you fall off the edge, no matter where you're at, I think you should have the time. If you're near an edge, can you save yourself? Bueno, oh. adios, master. Yeah, he would have been right about like midsection. Absolutely. So I definitely recommend that you use adios as a counter. You can save yourself with it. Now we're on to blocked. If you have them blocked, can you save yourself from the ability? Now if he hits me, I'm blocked. Oh, it takes away the hammer. That's right. So you can absolutely use blocked against a hammer because once you hit them, they can't hit you back and it also takes away your hammer. So W counter, I definitely recommend blocked. That means buddies is gonna do the exact same thing. You could always use table flip and track to keep the user away from you and not being a slap. Those work, but that's not what we're looking for in the counter video. Shield, can you avoid being hit with shield? I kind of think that you're gonna get hit with ragdoll no matter what. To Muso, I say GG goodbye. <laughs> yeah, I kind of figured. Shield doesn't usually protect you from things like that. You could, of course, use Ping Pong and Baller to keep them away from you. So can you use the Whirlwind's ability to escape? I don't think so, but it's worth the shot to test. <laughs> <gasps> Whoa! It takes the timer away! What? That's insane! What? <laughs> By far one of the best counters, for sure, is Whirlwind. If you slap them, all they have to do is pop their ability, and guess what? They don't have that hammer ability. I don't know if this is a bug and it's gonna be patched, or if it's intentional, but it takes away the timer up top. Look at that! That's insane! Wow! You don't even have to hit anybody. So Whirlwind is easily my favorite counter right now. Out of everything that I've seen so far, Whirlwind is your best friend. If you're in God's hands time stop. Is it gonna save you? My answer? Absolutely. 
you could very easily use that as a knockback deterrent. You could also use it beforehand and time it if you're lucky, but I would definitely use it on the after part of it like that. If you have the patience to wait, it can definitely be a counter. By the way, the new overkill card, sick. Look at that. Dude, that is so cool. While in the phase ability, can you dodge a hammer? I want to say yes, but things are a tad bit broken nowadays, you know? <laughs> if they pop it fast enough, can they dodge this? Ooh. <laughs> He kind of he kind of got hit but uh he did save himself wait for the hammer wait for the hammer oh if you're very very fast phase is gonna depend on how a lot of these gloves actually with this hammer are gonna depend on how your ping is working okay so now we're on to warp there we go nice warp definitely works Oh yeah, so you could definitely warp if you have them slapped prior. So now we're on buddies. We knew this is gonna happen though. If we slap him, he can obviously run right over, slap me, take away the hammer, and then now I can't do anything to him. No matter what I try to do, look, I cannot hit him. Buddies, massive counter because you can get multiple hammer users and keep them from giving the other bonk in. I definitely suggest you use buddies. You could use Bob, Shard, Jet, Bubble, and Bomb to keep them away from you in distance. Jupiter, yeah. You can definitely use Jupiter to keep yourself on like a cheeky kind of a way with the reduced knockback. So once the user gets hit, you can see they will take reduced knockback with this glove because they will fall fast because of Jupiter. So Jupiter, absolutely a counter, absolutely. Exactly what Muzo just said, where it's a counter if you're not next to an edge. And I fully agree with that. So I don't think trap's gonna work. I think because whenever you're in a trap and you get slapped, you get slapped out of the trap. So I think it's gonna be the exact same thing. But in theory, this is really cool. <gasps> oh! Oh, <laughs> so if you place them correctly, one in front and then one behind you, you can absolutely catch yourself in a hit. So you can we'll use hybrids yellow mode that will be exactly like Jupiter. So that works, but not the best. I wouldn't really care for it. Of course, you could disarm them beforehand, but mm, better options. If you get hammered while you're using Larry, it won't make Larry enraged. Don't mind the character. Elude is a massive counter because for a hammer user to be able to get their effect on you, they have to slap you. What does an elude do? It dodges slaps, base normal slaps. So elude, massive, massive counter very good one fish is a massive counter as well as soon as you get hit just flop yourself back into the arena oh look at that shout out to muso he is now a certified goober top quality certified goober <laughs> go moment of truth ba bang and back in the arena fish is a counter a big counter and here's the elude you can't even hit the elude oh it went right on top whoa <laughs> So with voodoo, can you hand off a hammer to a clone or to somebody who's been voodooed? Absolutely, I would say. Oh, you can. You can absolutely hand a hammer off to somebody. Voodoo's fun to use. It's not the counter per se, but you could use to like combo. So voodoo's not a counter, but it's there for the fun and the combos that you can use. So using leash, can you latch on and survive a hammer hit? So if they get hit by the hammer and they have a pet leash on them, <laughs> can they save themselves from getting a lot of knockback? Absolutely, leash, oh yeah. If you have a user leash, massive counter. If you don't have somebody leash, <laughs> it does work, but it's gonna be more of a 50-50 just due to the fact that you're gonna have to slap somebody else in order to save your own skin. And we don't know how often that's gonna work for you. So it can, but it's not the best. So can you use kinetic for a knockback reducer? Oh, you can absolutely use that as a knockback deterrent. Recall is interesting because everything about it is timing based. It's just a very wonky glove. You can get it to work, but a lot of it's going to take timing. So I just wouldn't even bother with recall. Psycho. Now, if you're jumped up in the air, can you avoid the hit? You can, but you have to time it unbelievably perfect. So Psycho does work, but the timing on it, on how precise you have to be for your jumps and how fast you have to do it, makes it just not worth it. So it's like a 25-75, 25% counter, 75%, you're gonna die. <laughs> so don't use Psycho in my opinion. So the next thing that we're gonna test out is counter. If you get slapped down with the hammer, can you counter? And... Okay, so it's the knockback. Oh, counter, you're just going to do a knockback reducer. And you could, of course, hammer another hammer user and go about your business. <laughs> Shout out to all these amazing people right here, by the way. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen, what do you think about these counters? There was actually more counters to this glove than I thought there was going to be. Let me know your thoughts on this. I hope that every single one of you have an amazing rest of your day or night whenever massive, you're watching this. Massive, massive shout out to Buse Muso. Thank you so much. And massive shout out to Carl for tagging along. I very much appreciate both of you for taking the time to do this. I hope you both have an amazing rest of your day. I hope you watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Later! <laughs>